this day kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from principle of mathematical induction so let's get started problem using the principle of mathematical induction prove that 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 plus so on plus 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 equals to 1 by 3 into n into 4n square plus 6n minus 1 solution let the given statement be P of N, then P of N will be 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 plus so on plus 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 equals to 1 by 3 into n into 4n square plus 6n minus 1. Okay. So here firstly we will prove that the statement is true for n equals to 1. That is we have to show that p of 1 is true and we will assume that the statement is true for n equals to k, that is p of k is true. And finally, we will show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. This shows that the given statement is true for all n that belongs to natural numbers. Okay. Here in this problem, I'll also show that the statement is true for n equals to 2. Okay. So let's begin. When n equals to 1, we'll take first statement. Sorry, we'll take first term, not statement. How many terms you are having? 1, 2, and so on nth term right this is your first term second term third term and so on nth term consider nth term you are having tn equals to 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 if you put n equals to 1 you will get t1 2 into 1 minus 1 into 2 into 1 plus 1 which is equals to 2 minus 1 into 2 plus 1 equals to 1 into 3 which is your first term okay fine if you put n equals to 2 you will get t2 2 into 2 minus 1 into 2 into 2 plus 1 equals to 2 to the 4 minus 1 into 2 to the 4 plus 1 which is equals to 3 into 4 plus 1 5 yeah, fine. Let it be. So for n equals to 1, the first statement from LHS 1 into 3 equals to 3. Coming to RHS, put n equals to 1, You will get 1 by 3 into 1 into 4 into 1 square plus 6 into 1 minus 1 equals to 1 by 3 into 4 into 1 square is 1 plus 6 minus 1 equals to 1 by 3 into 10 minus 1 equals to 1 by 3 into 10 minus 1 9 3. So here LHS equals to RHS therefore LHS equals to RHS. From this we can say that the statement that is P of N is true for N equals to 1. Therefore, P of 1 is true. Okay. When N equals to 1, we will take only first term. When n equals to 2, you will take sum of the first two terms. When n equals to 3, you will take the sum of first three terms. Okay. We are just talking about LHS. Okay. 
for LHS, when n equals to 1, you'll take first term. When n equals to 2, you'll take the sum of two terms, first two terms. When n equals to 3, you'll take sum of first three terms. When n equals to n, you'll take sum of n terms. Okay? Fine. Let's see what happens when n equals to 2. When n equals to 2, that is sum of first two terms from LHS. 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 equals to 1 3 is a 3 plus 3 5 is 15 equals to 18. Now coming to RHS, simply substitute n equals to 2 in the RHS. This is your RHS, right? You get 1 by 3 into 2 into 4 into 2 square plus 6 into 2 minus 1 equals to 2 by 3 into 4 into 2 square is 4 plus 6 to the 12 minus 1 equals to 2 by 3 into 4 4 is 60 plus 12 minus 1 11 equals to 16 plus 11 is 27 into 2 by 3 3 ones are 3 nines are 2 nines are 18 so here we got LHS equals to RHS therefore LHS equals to RHS from this we can say that P of N is true for n equals to 2 therefore p of 2 is true okay fine like that you can check for n equals to 3 4 5 and so on fine now Assume that P of N is true for some K which belongs to natural numbers. Okay. Then P of K will be 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 plus so on plus simply replace n by k. Then you will get 2 into k minus 1. 2k plus 1 equals to 1 by 3 into k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1. Okay. Now we have to show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Since P of K is true. Okay. Now for N equals to K plus 1. Take K plus 1 terms from LHS. 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 plus 1 plus we have up to K terms. Right. So write up to K terms. Plus you need K plus 1 term. That is you need T k plus 1 term, right? So, replace k by k plus 1 or n by k plus 1, simply. Okay? 2 into k plus 1 minus 1 into 2 into k plus 1 plus 1. So this equals to, we have 
1 into 3 into 3 into 5 plus so on to 2k minus 1 into 2k plus 1 is 1 by 3 into k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1, right? From p of k. Okay, plus 2 into k is 2k plus 2 into 1, 2 minus 1 into 2 into k, 2k plus 2 into 1, 2 plus 1. So this becomes 1 by 3 into k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 plus 2k plus 2 minus 1 is plus 1 into 2k plus 3. Okay. So this equals to 1 by 3 into k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 plus 2k into 2k to 2 is a 4k into k k square plus 2k into 3 2 3 is a 6k plus 1 into 2k 2k plus into plus plus 1 into 3 3 so this equals to 1 by 3 into k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 plus 4k square plus 6k plus 2k is 8k plus 3. So in the next term, we'll be taking 1 by 3 common. Okay. So if you consider this term, you're having 1 by 3. In the second term, you don't have any 1 by 3. Right. So what we'll do is we'll simply multiply and divide 3 to this term. So this equals to, you can write it as 1 by 3 into k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 plus 3 by 3 into 4k square plus 8k plus 3. Now it's easy to take 1 by 3 common from these two terms, right? So now take 1 by 3 common. Then you'll get 1 by 3 into k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 plus 3 into 4k square plus 8k plus 3. This becomes 1 by 3 into k. Just multiply k with this polynomial. You will get 4k cube. 4k square into k is 4k cube plus 6k into k is 6k square. Minus 1 into k is minus k. Plus 3 fours are 12 k square. Plus 3 to 24k plus 3 p is a 9. This equals to 1 by 3 into 4k cube plus write all the k terms 6k square plus 12k square. Now Write the k terms, minus k plus 24k and the constant. So this equals to 1 by 3 into 4k cube plus 6 plus 12, 18k square. 24k minus k is plus 23k plus 9. Okay. So you have polynomial of degree 3 here, 4k cube plus 18k square plus 23k plus 9. 
See, we have to look at this in a different angle. You are having 4 here. Okay, the quotient of k cube is 4. So, we will split this k square, 18 k square to 4 k square. 18 minus 4 is 14, right? You will get 14 k square. And here you have 9. So, split this to 9k, 23 minus 9, 13 minus 9, 14. So, you can write it as simply 4k cube plus 4k square plus 14k square plus 9k plus 14k plus 9. Okay. So, firstly, you are having 4k cube, right? So, we will write all the terms containing 4. So, you have 4k cube and 4k square. So, first we will be writing these two. Plus, next you are having 14k square. So, write the terms containing 14. You will get 14k square plus 14k and finally, terms containing 9. 9k plus 9. So, you are having 4k cube and 4k square, right? So, from this you can take 4k square common. Then you will get 4k square into k plus 1 plus. Here you are having 14k and 14k square. So, take 14k common. Then you will get 14k into k plus 1 plus. Here simply take 9 common, you will get 9 into k plus 1, right? So write this step here, this is equals to 1 by 3 into 4k square into k plus 1 plus 14k into k plus 1 plus 9 into k plus 1, right? So this equals to 1 by 3 into so, you are having k plus 1 in all the three terms, right? So, we can take k plus 1 common from all these terms. Then you will get k plus 1 into 4k square plus 14k plus 9. Okay? Fine. But, we need to write RHS. We need to get RHS in terms of k plus 1. But, we have all k's here. Right? We have case. So, what we'll do? Simply, we'll divide this polynomial by k plus 1. Okay? Divide. 4k square plus 14k plus 9 by k plus 1. See, you need to get in terms of 4k plus 1 whole square, right? You're having k plus 1 as your divisor. So, you'll multiply 4 into k plus 1 to this divisor. Then you'll get 4 into k plus 1 whole square, the first term, 4 into k square plus 1 plus 2k equals to 4k square plus 4 plus 4k or you can write it as 4k square plus 4k, sorry, 4 to 0, 8, 8k plus 4. Okay, into k plus 1 into 4k plus 1 is 4k square plus 8k plus 4. Now change the signs and cancel 4k square. 14k minus 8k is 6k plus 9 minus 4 is plus 5. Okay. So, here you are having 6, 
6k, right? So we'll multiply 6 to the divisor, then we'll get 6k plus 6, okay? Plus 6 into, okay, plus 6. 6 into k plus 1 is 6k plus 6. Change the signs, cancel 6k, you'll get minus 1. We know that divisor into quotient plus reminder must be equal to dividend. Now let's consider LHS divisor into quotient plus reminder is equals to 4k plus 1 into k plus 1 is 4 into k plus 1 whole square plus 6 into k plus 1 is 6 into k plus 1 minus 1 equals to 4 into k plus 1 whole square is 4k square plus 18, sorry, 8k plus 4 plus 6k plus 1 is 6 into k plus 1 is 6k plus 6, 6 into k, 6k or 6 into k, 6k plus 6 minus 1 equals to 4k square. 8k plus 6k is plus 14k plus 10 that is 4 plus 6 10 minus 1 is plus 9 right so we got the dividend right so this is a correct procedure fine we can follow this now is equals to 1 by 3 into k plus 1 into since we have 4k square plus 14k plus 9 is equals to k plus 1 into 4 into k plus 1 plus 6 minus 1, again you can write it as 4 into k plus 1 whole square plus 6 into k plus 1 minus 1. Okay, now we are going to replace this by 4 into k plus 1 whole square plus 6 into k plus 1 minus 1. See? For n equals to k. So from this we can say that the statement is true for n equals to k. Therefore, p of k plus 1 such that 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7, plus so on, plus 2k minus 1 into 2k plus 1, plus 2k plus 1 into Two K plus three is equals to one by three into N into four into N square plus six into N minus one. 
this shows that P of n is true. For n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, P of k plus 1 is true. Thus, P of 1 is true and P of K plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true. Therefore, By the principle of mathematical invention, the given statement is true. to natural numbers. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from principle of mathematical induction in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.